Hey YouTube fam, today you are in for a huge treat. I am showing you how to make my eight cheese macaroni and cheese. Let me show you how easy it is. Let's get into it. What's up my YouTube family? Today's recipe, I am going to show you how to make my eight cheese macaroni and cheese we are geared up we are ready we have our eight cheeses we have our pepper jack our Kobe jack our Velveeta Havarti Monterey shark cheddar white shark cheddar and mild cheddar. Let me show you how easy it is to make a bomb macaroni. Okay, y'all, let's start with the most important part, and that is the cheese sauce. So here in my saucepan, I have about three cups of half and half in here. And I have my fire on low. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my cheeses to the half and half. We are going to add in our Velveeta, let's go ahead and add in our Kobe Jack and not splash milk everywhere. Let's go ahead and add in our pepper jack and let's go ahead and add in our Havarti or Havarti so these are gonna be the uh, not the hardest cheeses to melt but these cheeses are gonna take the longest to melt so that's why I put those in first so I'm just gonna give it a little stir make sure everybody down there in that uh, half and half bath Cause we about to get it popping. So now what you want to do is just let these cheeses melt down. Keep your heat on low. Have patience. Make sure you can see me. There we go. There we go. Okay, so as I was saying, keep your heat on low, have patience. You don't want to rush this process because this cheese will burn on you quickly. So just let this simmer, let the cheeses get nice and gooey gooey, and then once I see these starting to melt, I'm going to come back and add my other four cheeses, because those are probably, those are going to take quicker, because they are um, already, they're shredded. So I'm going to let this simmer and boil down, and um, I'll be back when it's time to add the other cheeses. Okay, you guys, I am back, and my first four cheeses have just about melted down beautifully. So now, ooh, look at that cheese, hold on now. So now what we're gonna do is add our next four cheeses. And we are going to start with some Monterey Jack. Here's our Monterey Jack. I don't know if you can see it, but Monterey Jack. And what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna add the whole bag. I'm just probably gonna be adding, cause like I said, I'm not making a huge mac and cheese. So I'm probably just gonna be adding a half a bag of all of these. And this is a eight ounce bag, so basically two cups. So I'm gonna be adding one cup of each. So that was our Monterey Jack. Now I'm gonna go in with some sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar. Do a cup of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I am going to go in with some white cheddar. Sir, I'm gonna turn that heat down, tap it more, and now we're gonna go in with 
last but definitely not least our Mayo Cheddar. Oh yeah. Okay. There's about a cup of that. And we are going to give this a nice good stir. Stir it up nice and good. See, that's going to melt really fast. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Woo. Okay, so. This is just about done. I'm just going to let this probably melt down for about another five minutes. In the meantime, what we are going to do is we are going to season this cheese sauce with some salt and some pepper. And some of you guys might know, some of you guys might not. I mix my salt and pepper together. I just created my own little seasoning bottle, salt and pepper in here. It's so much easier. And also for my macaroni and cheese, if you watch my um, Easy is One, Two, Three macaroni and cheese video, I do not like using a ton of seasonings in my macaroni and cheese. I like to keep it really, really simple, salt and pepper. But in this particular macaroni and cheese, we are going to add two additional seasonings to this. So I'm just going to stir this in. And don't, for, don't forget too, these cheeses are packed with so much flavor. Let the cheese flavor the macaroni and cheese. You really don't need a truckload of seasonings. But, hey, if you want a truckload of seasonings, do you. Look at that. So, yeah, I'm going to let this melt for maybe about two more minutes or so. And it'll be time for the next step. Be back, y'all. Hey you guys, so my cheese sauce is all done. Now it is time to jazz up these noodles. Because you guys know that I'm all about flavor. We have to definitely show these noodles some love. We can't leave these noodles hanging. So what I'm going to start with is a half a stick of unsalted butter. I'm gonna get that right over there in those noodles while they are nice and hot to help. And these are just regular elbow macaroni noodles. Okay, so we got the butter in. Get that nice and melted. Hope everyone is having a great day. As always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching your girl. Don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And let me know what other recipes you guys want to see. You know your girl be throwing down. Let me know. If it's something you want to see, let me know. So, we are going to go in with some sour cream next. Okay, we got some sour cream here, just original sour cream. Okay. And it's probably, let me see, I'm not gonna go in, probably about one fourth cup. Or maybe just, yeah, about, that should be good enough. So I'm not making a huge one. And we are also going to go in with some whipped cream cheese. The whipped cream cheese is also going to give it a really nice flavor. Same amount. So equal amounts. So you got your sour cream and you have your whipped cream cheese. And we are going to go in with some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Not too much because remember that cheese sauce was already seasoned. I'm also going to go in with a little bit of lemon pepper. Just a tad. 
not a lot at all. That's it. We are also going to go in with a splash of brown cinnamon. That is not open, so give me a second. The cinnamon gives the macaroni and cheese a flavor that I just cannot even describe. You don't want to OD with it though. You just want to give it a little pinch, like just like this. That's it. I'm gonna do a little bit more. That's it. That's all you need. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of accent. Okay, okay. I'm also gonna go in with two beaten eggs. And we are going to give this a nice stir. Macaroni and cheese is slamming, y'all. Got to try it. Every time we have family gatherings, they always want me to make the macaroni and cheese for the holiday for Christmas and Thanksgiving. You know how that is, how your family hat. You got that one dish that your family just love for you to always make. It's act is reserved for you. Like you know you gotta make that dish every year. Okay. So we just want to make sure all these noodles are nice and incorporated. Okay. All right. So now we are going to walk over to the stove and I'm going to grab my beautiful eight cheese mixture and we are going to simply begin to pour some in pour a little in and stir it so you just want to do this in increments well at least that's what I do um, pour a little bit of cheese stir it up and repeat the process so Add a little bit more. Okay. Give it a nice stir. And do y'all hear that? I wonder, can y'all hear that? Because listen. See, if your macaroni and cheese ain't making that noise, try again, sis. Your mac and cheese gotta make that sound. Okay. Now we are gonna go in for the third time. Okay. And then we are going to put this in the oven, which is already preheated at 350. Because for some reason, y'all, I bake everything on 350 because that's just the go to tip. 350, go get it done every time. So, I think this is about how I want it to look, and it looks like really cheesy. It looks like over, over cheesy, but trust me, it's not. As this bakes, it's gonna solidify, and then when it comes out of the oven, it is going to solidify even more, and it's just gonna be a creamy, creamy delight. So, this is about where I want it. Now, a lot of people, um, they go in with some cheese on the top. I mean, you could, but I think I got enough cheese in the sauce. I, you know, I, I sometimes I'll do the sprinkle. They sprinkle a little bit of more um, cheddar on top, but I don't feel the need to. I really don't, because look, you can still see chunks of the cheddar cheese in there. You know, we all good just like this. You don't need all that. So 
I am going to garnish this with a little bit of paprika because it's going to add a beautiful color not like it's not going to have a beautiful color anyways but that paprika is just going to make it look nice and purdy like I like it and now it is time to get this bad boy in the oven and I will be back to show you guys the finished results and here you have it guys the finished product creamy cheesy flavorful macaroni and cheese so good so flavorful rich and creamy just good stuff good stuff hope you guys enjoyed the video Hope you guys try this recipe. So good. As always, I thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. And everybody, have a blessed day.